Hey everyone, Derek here with another Game & Watch, this time for the demo of Captain Toad Treasure Tracker for the Nintendo Switch. This is actually available in Japan right now, so if you have a Japanese account, you can search for it and uh, download the demo. So uh, yeah, I'm actually playing off my English account, so maybe we'll actually get some English in here. Hard to say for sure, but we're going to just jump right into it and see what this demo has to offer because, well the funny thing is, I've never actually played Captain Toad. I own it, but I never really spent the time on it. So we're just going to try out Plucky Pass Beginnings and see uh, if it's actually time for adventure. So yeah, very much the uh, first level of the, the uh, game, if I remember correctly. Also interesting that you have a pointer here just from my pro controller. Uh, if I... Let's see if there's a way to center it, because it does feel a little off right now as, as far as not center. Oh no, there we go. I just moving it against the TV actually worked. So, and yeah, we'll make it work. But anyway, we can plug that. And of course, we gotta make sure to turn that camera. Get those coins. Captain Toad's all about that treasure. We gotta, gotta make sure to get it all. Alright, so we got this. The game always looked charming as all get out, I just, you know, uh, just never had time to actually play it. Oop, destroyed the sign. Did not mean to destroy that sign. Uh, maybe I can go this way and take out the, uh, shy guy. Nope. Wait till he turns around. And then get him. Can't waste too much time. I was gonna say, there's a thing down there we wanted to get. I didn't want to leave it behind. So we got the gold mushroom. We just still need one more of those uh, crystals. Sure, there has to be a way up there. Aha! Hey fellas! Thank you, and that pretty much takes care of this level. And our, we got our star. Even did everything. Yep, we're in a good we're in good shape. So next up we got Mushroom Mesa and oh, it's only three levels. Well, might as well complete them all. See what we got. Uh, looks like they're all levels that were from the main game, so they're not gonna get to try out the, like the new New Donk City levels, which isn't all that surprising. But yeah, as far as Captain Toad running on the Switch, uh, unsurprisingly, it runs just fine. Um, Oh, this will be interesting. So this is actually a touch-controlled level. This is in the original game. Uh, we could move that. Um, uh, this thing on right here, to up and down with the touchpad, for on the Wii U gamepad. Now. Oh wait, here we go. Shoot. Uh, Okay, so that's what we need a pointer for, is we highlight it and then move it. Uh, I'm trying to find if there's a way to center this. Like, there's some quick turns. But there's no... There we go. Okay. Pushing down on the right analog stick is how you center that. So that way you can get, the, uh, to get those... Um, that way, if you're having trouble, you can get it and not have any issues with, uh... Oh, wait. Thank you. That way you don't have to worry about it. We just center it like that. I figured there had to be a way. That's not a bad solution to the, uh, to the problem. Uh, it's not as elegant uh, as the Wii U gamepad, but it also... It doesn't really need to be, you know? Right, we're just gonna take out everybody in our way. That's the Captain Toad method. Can't use that. 
Oh wait, you need to get that. Oh, not what I meant. meant. And I feel like if I can go into this thing, I can probably go somewhere else. Aha! Knew it! Good captain's trying to be crafty. Come on, let's be accurate with these. Especially since I want to... Oh, jeez. Almost didn't realize he was on the same uh, platform as us. Hey, one up. And there we go. Got our star. Nice and simple. And hey, defeated all the enemies. Didn't even intend to go for all that. Like I said, I had never played the, uh, the original game. I own it, but I just never took a chance to actually play it. Alright, so now we get a boss level. Game still looks good, honestly. Oh boy. Breathe your fire, then I'm gonna get out of here. All right, thank you. Step aside. And you know what? I'm just gonna hide behind this. No need to take risks. All right, comes this treasure. Oh boy. Got our ladder. Excuse me, sir. There go. Can't stop me. I'm Captain Toad. Can't stop the captain. Let's climb up here, get the this treasure. You know, I noticed the lava's rising. I don't know if it's actually rising constantly or whoa. Back down. Okay, now we're good. We'll hide behind this thing. Perfectly placed. Go, Captain, go! <laughs> oh, goodness! <laughs> Cutting that one a little close. What's this one? All kinds of coins. So now he's sending out... Oh boy. Well now we're just running out of path. Alright, let's wait from the... Breathe this fire, then... Oh gosh. Might as well just get set up. <laughs> that was close. That was just a little close. There's fire. Let's go up. Go, Captain, go! Oh, you're so close. Get it. Get it. Oh, no. Oh, that works, too. Oh, so much for him. Just needed to conk him on the head. Oh man, it landed right back on it. I'm sorry, sir. Does this hurt? Does this hurt? Does this hurt? Oh well. See, you can't stop the captain. He's just too good. And once again, we actually uh, took care of all of it. So that's that's the three levels available in the demo for you guys to check out. But there is one more thing I'm going to try, and uh, that is going to be uh, the two-player mode. So let's uh, let's hit the minus. 
I have to connect both, both Joy-Con via wireless. Let me grab the other one real quick. Alright. Yes. Let's proceed. All right, so one holds horizontally to control Captain Toad, the other one uh, controls vertically to uh, play with the pointer. So that's how you center, you can use touch with the pointer, you can throw a turnip, and you can look around. Otherwise, you just pluck and throw with uh, the captain. So let's try out this level, and I'm going to play two-player by myself. Because uh, apparently I'm kind of lonely. <laughs> nah, well. All right, so yeah. Honestly, the feels pretty good. Just like the Pro Controller as far as moving all around. And can control the captain. And even the second player can uh, rotate the camera. So if you want, you can do this pretty uh, crazy way of controlling the camera. And do these. Get these. We're not going to worry too much. So yeah, we so we can uh, hit the uh, ZL button or the the shoulder button to do to do those. Um, and I believe there should be a way to toss turnips. Yep, there we go. So I can't still can't break the uh, strong blocks or anything like that, but I can toss as many turnips as I want to help out my buddy. See if we can wake this guy up, actually. So yeah, I mean you can. It's it, this would be a good mode for kids. You know, help out each other. Um, one actually moving, the other one uh, helping from afar, like a parent or something. And these guys do not react. Oh well. But yeah, this is the new two-player mode. It, it seems to work rather well. Does the job and all that. Scare away the bird. I mean, it's awkward to control by yourself, but it still does the trick. So yeah, that is the two-player mode in uh, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Just get a little idea, and otherwise, that is the demo. Again, if you have a Japanese account, you can download it right now, try it out for yourself, or I'm um, sure it'll come to this uh, US eShop and the European eShop as well. So I guess I'd be more North American. But yeah, that's uh, out right now. That's Captain Toad on the Switch. So, of course, be sure to subscribe to Game Explained for more on Captain Toad and other things gaming as well. Until next time, bye.